It's all good, it'll be done eventually. If, some, if you sent a link, uh, it just started recording, so I can't quite click on it. Or is that somebody else sent a link? Did that clear it up? Uh, it's a little bit choppy, but that's alright. Yeah, I'm still checking my, uh... Okay, so. Ah, uh, yeah, no worries. Check, we'll see what the hell that was really quickly. Alright. There we go. Oops. It's not the way I like to start a pile, but hey. Oh, fuck, yes. So I guess we could probably bring that back a tiny bit. Yo, what's up? Yeah, I got a question for you about that controller you have mounted to the side of your chair. Uh, which one? Might be the one I got rid of. Is that the SciTech one? Uh, I'm not sure. The one that's on the side, I'd, uh, the right hand side of your chair that has the switches yeah. on it. Yeah, it's gone now. I don't use it anymore. Probably sold it a long time ago. It's built for a flight simulator game. Okay. Yeah, because I just seen the. This Mad Cat's PZ55 switch panel side tech flight simulator. Oh yeah. On e eBay. Yeah, don't. Yeah, they're expensive. Don't buy it. Not for not for this. Well, I was just, I was just looking for ways to kind of. The, the problem is it's not it's not really a USB uh, plug and play controller. It's built specifically for Flight Simulator. Yeah, and then basically you have to kind of create your own system for it. There's some third-party systems, but they crash so bad all the time you can never play it. Kind of sucks. Manually formatted to do push to button or whatever. Pretty much, and it yeah, it doesn't. I just found. It doesn't work. I just found out that I have enough money to go buy a light. A light which sir? So. Um, <laughs> you keep cutting out right when you go to say it, and it goes. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, sweet. Yeah, it's a 300 watt, 50 inch. Sweet. Yeah, I just, I just got the 30. That was all I wanted. 30 inches on mine. The cops are really starting to crack down on those here now. Yeah. Not with not cut with no covers. Yeah. Yeah, they don't like that here. I guess in the States it's not a big deal, but here... Yes. ...sucks. Yeah. The FDR take a guess at what you think a 50 inch would cost. Depends what you're buying. If you really want to... If you want to buy like a rigid or something, I'd probably like three, four hundred bucks. 
But if you get just the eBay ones or whatever, you can get one for like probably 120, 140. Right now it's. it's... You cut out. <laughs> 76 bucks. Oh, there you go, okay. Damn it, <laughs> right now. Oh, it's, it's, right now it's at 76 bucks. Wow, that's pretty good. Who's that from? eBay. eBay, yeah, that's where I got mine too. I don't know why guys go buy those fucking rigid ones for like $700 when they're pretty much exactly the same. I've had the same light bar on my two trucks for like four and a half years and I paid like I think 65 bucks for it or something and I know a guy that had like yeah. this rigid one that he paid like 500 bucks for and he's had it warrantied twice I was just like uh alright yeah like the rigid light bars a 50 inch rigid light bars a little over a thousand dollars yeah that's just stupid that's, that's just a fucking money grab like why would you do that I mean the, the quality is just as good I mean, yes, the rigids are are, are quite a bit brighter. They yeah. also seem to be having a hell of a lot more problems. Than even yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I have, and uh... You said you had another truck. Uh, I used to have another truck, not anymore. I just have this one here. I had a Dodge Dakota before this one. I transferred most of the stuff from this one to the other one. A lifted mini truck. Do you know anybody up there who's got a half ton or something that they're willing to get rid of? Uh, not personally. You can always check the buys and buy and sells and stuff like that. They're pretty usually riddled with people trying to get rid of stuff. I've been keeping my eyes open. But anything that I'm interested in, people don't want to seem to trade. Yeah, that sucks. Eh? What are you trying to trade? Uh, I'm trying to trade my IDI Turbo and the truck for it. Oh yeah. IDI Turbo. That's the one that I showed you guys the pictures of? Yeah, yeah. And the IDI is the precursor to the 7.3 power stroke. Oh, sweet. Oh, stupid tops. Oh, these tops make me mad. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Neither can I, but hey. I was dumb when I bought it. I mean, don't get me wrong, oh, I love okay, it, yeah. but I'm gonna be paying for it for the next, like, four years. Credit bureau now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Well, I had a 2010 Ram 500 Sport model, SLT Laramie, ME, four-wheel nice. drive, leveled, 20-inch uh, rims, bigger tires, more like cat-back exhaust. Oh, and, sick. Uh, I was into it for 35 grand. I had it down to 32 grand, and then the truck needed, like, $2,000 worth of maintenance work, and I said, fuck it, and from the bank, I'm like, you guys can come take your truck. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Yeah. I mean, I tried to trade it in on a newer vehicle, but I mean, anything that I could get, I really wasn't interested in, and anything yeah. I was interested in, I couldn't get. Yeah, no shit, eh? yeah. Yeah, mine came in just kind of lucky deal. It got dropped off the day I went, I just went to the dealership in uh, Houston there, that uh, Solvent Motor Products. SMP, I was going to yeah. say Dubai did SMP. Yeah, I did, yeah. I've never purchased anything from them before, but, um, like my Dakota, what happened was I replaced my transmission, like, uh, earlier last year, and, uh, it was acting up, I think it cost me like 4300 bucks to replace my transmission, I was just like, fuck, like, that was a huge hit for me, and then... I replace it, and uh, I come, I come back to uh, my house, and the fucking, it's still acting up. Like the tranny's still going, revving in and out, and slipping gears. And I'm like, what the fuck? I just, just got it back from the shop. So I take it in. They find, turns out it was just something weird with the tranny that didn't work out. So, uh, so they uh, replaced it again. And then during which they replaced it, they found a big fucking crack in the engine block underneath. <laughs> so, yeah. So I was like, well, and they're like, oh, it'll be like 6,800 bucks if you want to put a new engine. I'm like, no, I'm not fucking getting the engine rebuilt. So, so I tried going around Smithers, all the different places here, and asking, uh, asking the guys what the best, uh, best deal they could give me for the Dakota was, because I still wanted a little bit of money for it. 
Because, I mean, everything else on it was brand new. I'd replaced a whole bunch of stuff. Brand new tranny, everything. And, uh, the, lo the best price anybody would give me here in Smithers was, like, I think somebody offered me 600 for it or something with the crack in it, and I was just like, fuck. So, uh, I took it to Houston on a whim just to see what would happen, and those fucking guys gave me five grand for it. <laughs> I don't know how... Yeah, I don't know how they did it or what, but... They probably didn't catch the crack. No, no, I told... I, know, I was up front about it. I told them about it. Because, I mean, I went to everybody already. I mean, everybody knows everybody here, so... No, they said, oh, yeah, no, I got a guy who'll take that right now. Because, I mean, I murdered it out. It was a beautiful, beautiful truck. But it wasn't functional with that crack in it. But, yeah, it was uh, pretty funny. So yeah, they, uh, I just happened to see this Duramax sitting on the lot, and the guy did most of the work to it for the, like, the lift and the, all the extra goodies, so there wasn't much I had to do to it. You, you didn't put the grill and stuff like that in? Yeah, I did all that shit, but, but it had but most of the, the heavy lifting, yeah, the really expensive stuff was done already. Yeah, the tires and the lift were the big ones. And yeah, he did that. The trucks that have lifts cost so much. Oh man, yeah, like, the lift that's in mine is like 60... After all said and done, it's put in, I think it was 6,800 bucks or something, so... Ooh, At least that's what it... Or, yeah, it's just like ridiculous, right? Well, you know, they do the full suspension and all the goodies, and it's not cheap, so... But I'm like, man, I'm glad that guy paid for it, not me, so... Yeah, I paid uh, twenty-seven for that truck, twenty-seven thousand. So. Fuck, you paid less for your Duramax than I did for my fucking Hemi. I know, eh? It's crazy. It was just a really good deal, like amazing deal. I couldn't say no. Well, I could have said no. Probably should have said no, but I didn't. Fuck. Once, my... I get, once I get a job and I've got two or three paychecks in, I'm gonna go take out a ten thousand dollar like easy financial places yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Four Duramax. Yeah. Yeah, they're uh, pretty decent trucks for sure. Well, my dad has an O2, and it used to be my grandparents' truck, and I absolutely love it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this will be its first winter, so I get to try that out. But he had he had to replace the Allison tranny in it, and uh, oh, nice. He's done glow plugs, a water pump, and a block heater. Wow, that's it, eh? Pardon me, I love plugs, uh, injectors. Oh, oh, the injectors, yeah. It's all part of it. Because the, the LV7s had that injector recall on them. Yeah, that's right, yeah. But yeah, I mean, mine's an LMM. It's, it's a really nice truck, and I mean, I've been trying to talk my dad into straight piping it, but he just won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, mine's got to get deleted. That's next on its list here, so... That's why I want one of the LB7s, is because they don't have all that EGR bullshit. On yeah, them. that's exactly it. Yeah, the EGR shit's a detrimental to your thing, so... But it's you on the long list definitely. of things. No. Not yet, anyway. You never know. Oh, DP... Oh, sorry, I thought you meant, like, the delete. Yeah, no, mine, ne mine needs... I think mine does have DPF, yeah, it needs to get a delete done on it. Open up the fuel cap. Is there two nozzles? In oh there? no, sorry. Yeah, no. I'm thinking, I'm thinking engine. No, I don't have to do the that stupid shit. No, just the EGR for you. I think. Oh, my boss just bought a brand new Ford, and he's got that stupid shit in there. He's got to do the EcoBoost DEF shit. Oh man, that's such a pain in the ass. And then yeah, like if, and then if you don't put it in, like if you empty it out, he like wastes like so much fuel. He says. That and um, uh, they only let you drive for like something like 50 miles, then the computer automatically shuts the truck. Yeah, it shuts you down. What a piece of shit, hey? <laughs> exactly. Silly Fords. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind buying a Cummins, but it seems like anything with that name attached to it, the price is just ridiculous. Yeah, it's it's like the new Nike, so pretty much, yep. Alright.
Whoops, did I pick up the fucking trailer here? Oh, did you, uh, make a new trailer? <laughs> no, I just... No, I was just unloading a, a, sh a long logger truck here. I picked the trailer right off the freaking ground. Oh, shit. You in the server? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just digging around here. Cleaning up some shit here. I might pop in for a bit then, if you're in there. Yeah, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be here. It's pretty freaking late. For... I gotta wake up and go to work tomorrow, so... Luckily I'm on afternoon, so that'll be alright. Uh, one o'clock. It's no oh, big yeah. deal. You shift again? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on permanent, uh, permanent evenings for the time being, so it's good. What's your shift? One, two, ten or something? Uh, yeah, or sometimes a little bit earlier, but yeah, roughly around then. That's not too bad. It's kind of been... Uh, different for the last couple of weeks. Our hours have been cut back a whole bunch. It's been raining lots here, so the logging's kind of slow. Yeah, start and time for Frieza. Yeah, that's right. Should be soon, hopefully. Unless well, you're supposed to be a good freeze, so. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing, so. Hopefully that actually happens and we'll be good. I mean, it's right around negative one here right now. It's negative one there, really? Yeah, it's freezing tonight. No shit. You're in Williams Lake, right? That's correct. Crazy. I didn't know that was getting that cold. Yeah, it's been hovering around three or four the last two or three nights, and then tonight it was supposed to drop down to minus one or minus two. Crazy. I guess we started a new deck somewhere, or did we? Oh no, we didn't. We're still here. I just gotta clean out this little valley, and then we'll be good. I mean, and we're me and my buddy are looking at buying this Explorer. It's a '98 Explorer uh, XLT with a yeah. five all-wheel drive, five-liter V8 in it. Sweet. That'd be pretty sick, eh? Needs a fuel pump, though. Oh, yeah. So That's no big deal. He's, he, the motor has 98,000 kilometers on it, and he's taking 350 bucks for it. Wow. What's he not telling you? <laughs> that, that's what's bugging me. <laughs> so, I mean, we were going to call the guy tomorrow morning, and then we run into town for my doctor's appointment or my fiance's doctor's appointment yeah. and stuff tomorrow. We were going to uh, pop up and take a look at it. At least then you can kind of check it out. Well, I have to have a reliable vehicle for next Monday, or not Sunday even, this Sunday, because I have to go down this Sunday and be in court in Coquitlam on Monday morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, then you definitely you know, need some. Be there for a couple hours and then drive back up here and like, fucking <laughs> Yeah, I know. Court shit, hey? Good times. Oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna chip this pile. It's a goddamn mess anyway. Free up some lag on the server. And apparently it's two degrees here. It didn't quite freeze tonight, but it usually gets the coldest right around six in the morning. Five, six huh. in the morning. Crazy. Yeah, it's usually the chilly time, isn't it? Those can be processed. These can be processed. We can get rid of these ones on the end that are all cut to funky lengths. 